Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. And by San Antonio Masonry and Steel. That's my brother, that's my twin. We have a connection that no that, that nothing can break. I throw it up there and he's gonna catch it. Payback really. We just wanted we just wanted to come out and, and pay him back from what they did to us last year and that's what we did. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great area high school and local sports coverage, TV, radio, and cheap web streams refuse to cover. And check out my Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and the UIL will love you if you do it. Thanks so much and enjoy the show. In the world of sports, Losing streaks and streaks of anomalies happen all the time. Navy, once upon a time, lost 42 in a row to Notre Dame, and the New York Jets haven't beaten New England since the day after rapture happened. For the San Antonio area, the streak has been Lake Travis in the playoffs. 22 losses in a row, 18 years going back to 2004. Back then, Lake Travis had no state championships and a losing overall record. That was six years before San Antonio Brennan came into existence last year the Bears thought they could beat Lake Travis but fell down 42 to 3 and ended up losing that game Lake Travis barely kept the streak alive last week by beating Cibolo Steel at the buzzer a rematch with Brennan and Lake Travis Brennan led by the DuBose twins Ashton and Aaron along with Tyler Turner on defense could they finally end the San Antonio futility and pick up their biggest win that's Brennan in the playoffs since their 2013 state finalist team. Well, let's take you up to New Braunfels and check out all the action presented by McCombs Ford West and San Antonio Masonry and Steel. That's my brother, that's my twin. We have a connection that, no, that, that nothing can break. I throw it up there and he's gonna catch it. Hey, you know, I got nothing to say. Hey,
Brennan's defense finally was able to establish itself against one of the Austin Powers. Ashton Dubose, four touchdown runs and a touchdown pass while the defense held the Cavaliers to the sixth fewest points in 81 playoff games in their school history and the fewest ever against a San Antonio team. Susan Lucci, the streak is over. Brennan wins 34-17 to end Lake Travis's 22-game, 18-year playoff win streak versus San Antonio. Held ourselves accountable to practice as hard as we could, and we came out and held ourselves accountable to play as hard as we could. We watched film like a, like like some dogs all week. You know, we just wanted to make sure we had our game plan down and make sure we went out and executed it today. We came out and just held ourselves to the highest standard possible to come out and execute our game plan that we studied all week so hard for. Uh, I mean, it's just a great feeling. Halftime, and we 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 uh, drew up drew up drew up stuff on offense, and the defense got right with the. Uh, the defense and we just came out and just did our thing. Payback, really. We just wanted, we just wanted to come out and, and pay them back from what they did to us last year, and that's what we did. Learning from Steel, learning from that game last year, I think really helped us for this year to really come in prepared, uh, you know, to play our tails off and, and do everything we could to win the game, and, and that's what we did tonight. So, super proud of the kids. Brennan, though, can't breathe a sigh of relief. Next up is Austin Westlake in the quarterfinals. They haven't lost this decade. They blocked two punts and returned both for scores against San Benito in the third round. Third playoff meeting between the two, Westlake has won both in blowouts. By the way, should Brennan pull the upset, they would join 2012 A&M Consolidated as the only schools ever to beat Westlake and Lake Travis football in the same season. Reporting from New Braunfels, I am the streaker, Mr. Bowtie.